Let's hurry out of here. this table around and place it like the other. We must hurry now. That does it. All right. That's right. Turn it around. Take the coffin in the storeroom. Hurry up. Fight it there. Hands, uh, move the candelabras in closer. Bring me the water basin. Quickly, Igor. Right there. Quickly, move the instrument table nearer. Who touched her? It was him. He's nothing but trouble, Count Frankenstein. You necrophile. He was so beautiful. Krieging ego, take him out. Out! I'm sorry. Master, I won't do it again. I won't. I won't. What? Hans, don't you ever let anyone in here. 
Yes, sir. Go and get some hot water. Then close those doors. Yes, Count. <laughs> The charge is rising. Really up to the red area. Good. Now we operate. Control the charges. Our castle, Krista. Oh. The castle of the Frankenstein. Oh, it's so lovely. Well, it should make a romantic setting for your wedding. Any setting with her will make me happy. We're just outside now, Krista. Here. Count Frankenstein, they're here. Okay. Oh, Miss Maria, I'm so happy to see you. Thank Welcome you, home. Valda. Oh. Welcome, Master Eric. Thank you, Father. Father, I want you to meet my guest. Krista Lauda, my class advisor. Welcome. When Maria said that she wanted to invite you, I pictured an advisor somewhat different. Oh. I'm happy you could join us for the holidays. Thank you. And Dad. Eric, how nice to see you again. Thank you very much. I'm glad you could join us also. My mother's not well, sir, so oh, I I'm can't sorry. stay. It's nothing serious, but I should be with her at this time. Oh, yes, of course. But it's late. Have, have dinner and spend the night. And get a fresh start tomorrow. I guess you're right. It is getting late and I could get a good start early in the morning. Shall we go in? Ah, darling. It's so nice to have you back. Fine, Bob. O'Connor, I've been checking the Hoffman case, and it looks like we're ready for a trial. Yes, but... But what? There's been a grave robbery. Whose grave? You'd better ask the man. Whose grave was robbed? Come on, speak up, man. Eh... Uh, it was the Kirsten Platt. My God, she was just buried yesterday. Yes, sir. It's insane. When did you discover the body was missing? Uh, well, uh, I discovered it on this morning's rounds, you see. You want the carriage, sir? Yes. Right away. Yes, sir. I just don't understand this kind of madness. That small footprint is an important clue. Strange. It's so small. Like a child's. I wonder why there aren't any other footprints around. 
This is the most incredible case I've ever come across. Wax ready? Just about, sir. Mm. And make sure you get a good imprint this time. Wax is ready, Inspector. Then pour it on the footprint, Kerner. It's a tiny print, sir. But a child involved in a grave robbery? It could be a dwarf. Parts. I was just at the cemetery. What happened? The police were there. They found Ginza's footprint near the Gersten Platons. That's the best news I've had all day. <laughs> Why are you so happy? I think they'll find out it was us that brought the grave. Oh, no, they won't. Don't worry about that, my friend. I'm happy because my plans are taking shape. <laughs> That's very interesting, Count Francis. Yes, my dear. I find that Easter is always interesting. I must agree with that also. You're grand, Count. Thank you, Hans. We have scientific evidence that this area was inhabited until the Great Earthquake, and that was about 500 years ago. Then the Frankensteins happened to settle here and build uh, this castle after that. Tell me, what about the sighting of this Neanderthal man? Does he exist? It's possible. You can't be serious. I always thought the Neanderthal man was, was just, just a myth. There are caves uh, around here that could be shelter for wild animals uh, or humans. But surely, Father, he'd have been seen by people from the village. No one has. No one uh, wants uh, to investigate the labyrinth of tunnels that branch out through the caves. So you see, it could be more than a rumor. Count Frankenstein, dinner is served. Good. Well, everyone, uh, shall we dine? May I, darling? Please. Thank you, Eric. Oh, this is really lovely. I'm glad you like it. Well, I hope you enjoy our cuisine. Certainly. Count Frankenstein, wouldn't it be wonderful if science were to discover a Neanderthal man? Hence, pay attention. I'm sorry, sir. Enough for that unpleasant subject. Oh, no, Count. I don't find that unpleasant at all. I'm intrigued with the idea. Oh, yes? Father, Mother once told me about some wild creatures. There were some confirmed sightings. Responsible people said that they saw wild-looking humans living in the area of the caves. That's fascinating, Count. Yes. They're studying science. So you would be interested. I hope that anthropology will be my life's work. You'd be surprised, Father. Chris is studying for her doctorate and teaching classes, too. Amazing. Why do you say that, Father? Your guest here is... Uh, so beautiful, yet dedicated uh, and fascinated by unglamorous work. Aren't you forgetting, Count, that your daughter is also a beautiful student of unglamorous work? Bravo, Eric. <laughs> Spoken like a gallant fiancé. I didn't mean to exclude my beautiful child. <laughs> Serve the dinner. Yes, sir. She's a Frankenstein and she inherits the traditions of her ancestors, even though she's a female. I hope that you have forgiven me, that I wasn't born a boy. 
Oh. <laughs> No, no, darling. When we meet again. Shut up, you fool. <clears throat> There's no sense having trouble with hands. Your husband is busy serving Count. Don't worry. You talk too much. Dish isn't ready. You didn't have enough time. But why do you always take it out on him? He does his work. I know. He does. You're born suspicious. You never trust me. I happen to know you very well. I might have too well. Get away. I'll finish that. Kragen, pay attention or you'll be leaving forever. Understand? Walder. Yes, Miss Christie. Count Frankenstein is a very interesting man. And charming. Your milk bath is ready. Yes. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will, and thank you very much. You're welcome. By the way, if I were in your place, I shouldn't take too much interest in the Frankensteins. Maria, I'm taking a bath. Oh, I'm sorry. You all right? Everything's perfect. Then I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.
Take it easy. It's me, darling. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Your father... But it's not like at school. Father would kill you if he knew the truth about... about everything. I told you no. Are you afraid? No, darling. I love you. What are you doing here? I bring blanket. Ladies' room. Don't creep around in the dark. But I... You should have tried to our guests. No, master. You're right. Mm. He's really quite harmless. Don't worry. I'm sorry, Count Frankenstein. I feel so ashamed. I got scared. In the daytime, you'll see the house differently. It's, uh, it's beautiful. You'll see. Oh, yes, I'm sure, Count Frankenstein. Good night. What are you doing here? I was only... Come on. Get out. Get out of your room. This house has been in the Frankenstein name for generations. Now it looks like the end of a very long line. Well, soon Maria and Eric will marry and there'll be no more Frankensteins. You see, my wife uh, died giving birth to, to a stillborn son. Perhaps, Count, you will marry again and... Well, I think I'm a little too old for that now. 
But you really aren't, Count, really. Perhaps the name of Frankenstein will live on. If I can contribute to science, something, they will remember me by. Is the project you are working on now such an important contribution? Yes. A very important project. A true scientific breakthrough. What is it, Count? Well, uh, I just can't talk about it at the moment. Oh, Count. I want to see your work. Your laboratory. That's why I came here. To meet the renowned Count Frankenstein. Oh, no. I am flattered, but not a deserving. I've always wanted to do something important for science. Maybe meeting you is the answer to my dreams. Do something, I tell you. Or we'll all be victims of that crazy madman. Nobody's yeah. safe around here, not even the dead. Yeah. Yes, I tell you, we have to do something. Those weird people who work for me, ask me. What's this all about? We're concerned about this grave robbery, and we think you should arrest that crazy Frankenstein. You must talk to the inspector. But we can't. Here he is now. Yeah, here he is. What's the trouble now, Colonel? Well, you see... Inspector, you must arrest Frankenstein. He's a menace to the decent people of this village. You must, you hear yeah, us? You mark my word, Inspector. There's something strange going on in that Frankenstein castle with all those strange creatures creeping around. Yeah, That's I mean, they're May dangerous. I remind you that mm -hmm. the Count's altruistic nature should not be suspect. Those strange creatures, as you call them, could go nowhere without the Count's employment. But, Inspector... I advise all of you to go about your business and leave the solving of crimes to me. Rough on them. I have to keep them under control or they might turn into a dangerous mob. goes the prefect heading toward Count Frankenstein's castle. Did you see? Here's the guilty one. Right. And all those demons of his. Right. Grave robbing. The most dastardly crime. And it happened right here in our village. <laughs> you know what? We ought to burn that Frankenstein's place down, and all the devils in it. What's going on in here? What are you doing? It's just a... Go and sit there. I have tried to help you, Gens. 
but you are treacherous. I'm sorry, Master, but Shut I... Shut up. Just keep quiet. I would like to explain Keep that. quiet. You rang for me, sir. How did he get in here? I didn't let him in. Then he has learned somehow. Uh, yes, yes. What is it? I think we have another trouble with this rat. What trouble? Igor told me the inspector found Gens's footprint at the girl's grave. I thought you told me that you looked after that. You were all to be careful of leaving any evidence of your presence. Uh, I know, sir. I was careful. I thought I cleaned the area. But his footprints were so small, I couldn't see them. Do you realize that all my world would be ruined by something like this? But Master Hunt was Shut supposed up. to... Shut up! There is only one thing to do. I can't have you endangering my work. You have to leave. But I... I have nowhere to go. I can't have anybody interfere with the progress of my work. You have to leave. And take him away. Come on. Into no, the Master, woods. Please. Shut up! Oh. Keep him out! No! It was you, Hunt! You're the double crusher! Uh -huh. You were supposed to have erased my footprint! <laughs> You're through here! <laughs> come on, you little <laughs> rabbit! <laughs> You're going! No! Come on! No! I'll give you the one! Don't do this! No! Baldock, come with me. Hans is busy. He has left castle. You sure? Yes. Come with me. We go to Woodshed. <laughs> Krieger, you really sure? Yes, Walter. But we must be careful. Now you stay away from the castle. There, there's no work for me in the village, and I'll starve out here. You dirt. You miserable little worm. You don't deserve to live. You betrayed Dr. Frankenstein. I'm going to go to the inspector, and I'm going to tell him that you robbed the grave. No, no. I made sure when we left the graveyard, your footprint was still there. <laughs> now you can't go to the inspector. <laughs> You're too involved. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> you mark my You're word, Hunt. Get I'll get, get my revenge on you. And I'll get my revenge on Dr. Frankenstein! Oh, Cregan, be nice. Naughty Kriegen. girl, Kriegen. Oh, Nice. Oh, Cregan. <coughs> Goliath shows no negative symptoms in his recuperation from this recent uh, disturbance.
like this. I don't know your name, so I guess I'll call you Oop. Meat is better when you cook it, Oop. Come here, my dear. That'll be all, Hans. You have to tell no one you came here, not even uh, Maria. I want you to see something. Be careful, George. Come. A patient, Doctor? A special one. If he wakes up, don't make any movement. He's very unusual. And, uh, as you can see, over two meters long. He has brute strength. I had to strap him down. I've never seen anything like him. There is nothing anywhere in the world like this specimen. Come here, Krista. Look. Here is something else that would interest you. Look how well these incisions are healing. He seems to be a healthy individual. Probably the healthiest patient I ever had. I'll explain more of his background to you later. And now, I want to show you my accumulator. Accumulator? Yes. I've been working many years to harness lighting, the most powerful element in man's universe. So fantastic. Who knows what we'll find a hundred years from now. So much to learn. But these experiments on humans. Certainly, after many successful attempts on various animals. But, Dr. Frankenstein... I know the ethics of the medical profession. But his family, weren't they consulted? I am his only family. I have named him uh, Goliath. But why all this secrecy and... Krista, you will learn everything in due time. Where are you taking me, Maria? It's a surprise. Come on. Oh, my shoe. We're not going in that cave. Mm-hmm. 
place like this, so mysterious. How did you ever find it, Maria? When I was very young, I used to play in these caves, unbeknownst to father. I told you I had a surprise. I'm really surprised. It's like having your own private mineral bath. You're right, and I envy you. It's like in another world. Or a planet. Now remove your jacket. All right. You'll enjoy the water. It's heated from volcanic springs. With a slight odor. It may not smell so good, but it's really awfully good for your skin. As you'll soon discover. There, that does it. Can I help you? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> this dress is designed to get out of quickly. Oh, I'll say it is. <laughs> Here I go. Is the water too deep there? No, the it's there? all right. Come on in. Oh, it's so warm. I told you you'd like it. Oh, it's rather slippery here. <laughs> You'll get uh, used to it. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's very invigorating. <laughs> I'm happy you're enjoying it. You no, know, it's fantastic. Really. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Now I have another surprise for you. Turn around. Now for your first mud bath, Crystal. Oh, that's rather messy. Are you sure of this? I've done it lots of times. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Oh, I see. Organic. Now it's my turn. Oh, of course. <laughs> my back. Wait. There you are. <laughs> That's it. All right. What do we Rinse do now? Uh, Rinse it off. <laughs> oh. Krista. Yes? I think that your arrival has made my father very intrigued. You really think so? I know him. Up to now, he's been interested in nothing but scientific things. And when you arrived, became like a little boy. I know. How about you? <laughs> I find him interesting. And wouldn't it be interesting if you married him and became my mother, Krista? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough. We have to get out now. Oh, but... but why? I'm enjoying it. You really shouldn't, Krista. I want to stay in. Why not? Do we have to go? You really must believe me. Too much of this is not good for you. So come on. Oh, all right. Besides, it's getting late, and it's dangerous to be out here after dark. Frankenstein's daughter. I might have had my revenge. Uh, uh, what revenge? Oh, go, let's go back.
Hello. Did you have a nice day? Yes, thank you. Love you. Father, wasn't that the inspector? Yes, my dear, it was. There has been some trouble in the village. What kind of trouble? Something about graves being robbed. Why should he question you? Kent's uh, footprint was found near the Gaston plot. The grave that was robbed. Gent's! I don't know why you keep him around. I had him dismissed a few days ago. You'll never see him here again, I assure you. Why I had to operate on the brain? Yes. The flow of blood to the brain is stopped. And this... This person is a raving maniac if he's to continue to live. Yes. You see, my motives for the transplant of the brain were justified. I wrote all my notes uh, in here. My diary. Oh, yes. But... Somehow it doesn't seem to be right to fool with the laws of God. No, my dear, I disagree. Science gives privilege to a few. What do you mean? We must never stop learning. Mm. I am sure that God meant it that way. <gasps> He's waking up. <laughs> yes. You'd better leave the laboratory. I don't know how you react in your presence. And remember, you are the first witness to this historical achievement. Now go. Quiet! Quiet, everyone! Here comes the inspector. Let's see what he has to say. Quiet down! What's all this about a girl disappearing? It's my daughter. It's my daughter, Jenny. She's disappeared. Jenny? What happened? She was cleaning and then went outside. Then I didn't hear her anymore. I went out to look for her and she was gone. Why, it's that crazy yeah. Frankenstein! Now, all right, all right, no hasty judgment. Now tell me, Hanson, are you sure she's disappeared and not just visiting friends? Jenny is a young girl. She'd never go anywhere without telling me, Inspector. I'm so worried. Colonel! Hans, come with me. Well, I need you. Now, show me the place you last saw her. Yes, sir. This way. Don't waste time. Arrest that maniac Frankenstein.
You're going to learn, Luke. Watch me. I'm going to teach you the, the pleasures of life. <laughs> is recovering more rapidly than normal. I attribute this to his great strength. Who found her? A farmer. Doctor? Judging by the condition of her body, I'd say that the murder had exceptional strength. She was so young and pretty. Mm-hmm. Both of her legs are broken. Her body is almost torn apart, as if she'd been attacked by a wild animal. What are you saying? Look here, at her neck. And the broken legs. So much brutality, like... Beast. I need to take her in for an autopsy. I don't want you to think that I'm crazy. But what about this Neanderthal man? Oh, come on, Colonel. Stick to facts, not rumors. Could be the work of a sex maniac. This is the worst crime I've ever seen, Doctor. We don't want the villagers to find out what's happened. If they become unruly, we're in real trouble, Colonel. Shall I stay here? No, go to the office. Do you want me to... to make the report? Of course, Colonel. Make the report. And do me a favor. Please get it right this time. All right. That's where it will begin. There had been rumors of a caveman in this area. The alleged Neanderthal man? Perhaps. However, the villagers had found him out here, and I rushed to the spot. The villagers had surrounded him, and there he was, uh, fighting for his life, like a trapped animal. could save him. Superstition and fear drove the villagers to kill him. But, but if he was dead, that means that... I told you I was his family. With my servants, I took the wild man's body to the laboratory. Thank you. 
That does it. Now take that out. And make sure that no one disturbs me. Go. This was the moment I'd waited for, worked for. My entire life I was ready for the ultimate challenge. The atmosphere of this area is highly rarefied and conducive to electrical storms. God seemed to be my partner that day, as a vicious electrical disturbance was raging outside. I have explained to you my experiments uh, with the electric accumulator. The supreme test for it was now at hand. Would I succeed? I could hear each beat of my heart like a huge drum throbbing. The suspense was exhilarating. Then... It had arrived, the moment I'd worked for. I had reached that pinnacle that every scientist strives toward. The secret of life. Count Frankenstein, are you telling me that you... that you... Yes. I brought a human being back to life. Hey! Hey! Maria. Oh, Eric. Darling. Mm. I'm glad to see you. Me too, Maria. Where are the others? My father is in his study, and Krista's gone out for a walk. Did Cregan take your things to your room? Yes. Oh, Eric. I'm really so happy to see you. Take me to Castle Frankenstein. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. You know my interest in science. Just science? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to test our giant's mental uh, capacity. He's getting along nicely, but we can't communicate uh, by language. So I thought I'd try to read his emotions. I find uh, his behavior has become more rational after your visits. Yes, my dear. Is falling in love with you? How do you surmise that? He becomes uh, pensive for a while. Then reacts violently after you leave. Since you usually visit him at this time, I have concluded that he is expecting you. This is why it's so calm. I think it's time now to try an experiment. Whatever I do, don't think I'm mad, Krista. Uh, It appears uh, jealousy isn't part of his character. Now, don't be frightened, Krista. I want to test his protective instincts. Ah! Ah! Look at him, Look! Ah. Ah. That's it! That's it! Look! That's it! Stay calm! Eh? Goliath, calm. Calm down. You are all right. Yeah. Yeah. We have civilized his instincts by substituting his brain. Krista, I want you to assist me with further experiments. Your coming influence will be of help to me. His mental advancement will speed up. Oh, it would be a pleasure to work with you. Come, look. 
I want you to learn everything about my work, my formulas, uh, everything in the laboratory. Come. Here, the electric accumulator. And look, we will be able to work together. Just uh, the two of us. Yes. Sorry I kept you waiting, Inspector. But I had to finish a special formula. Please, won't you sit down? Thank you, Count. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if you might be able to uh, help me. Perhaps you've heard something of that dwarf that used to work for you. Nothing. Since our last meeting. Why do you ask? Thank you. Well, in the village, a young girl, Jenny Hansen, disappeared. Or rather, abducted, is more apropos. Because today, we found her body brutally mangled. And, as in the case of the grave robbery, on the ground around her were footprints. I made a wax imprint. It's uh, small, like the one at the Gusten plot. Yes. The resemblance is perfect, Inspector. I think it's the dwarves. It could be him. However, I haven't seen him since I had him dismissed. You recall that, Inspector? Yes, I remember you telling me that from before. But, Count Frankenstein, I was hoping perhaps one of the servants might have heard something. You're right. Let's ask. That's very obliging of you indeed, Count. Thank you. I am always glad uh, to do what I can to advance to the cause of uh, justice. Hans, have you seen or heard anything from Gaines since he was dismissed? No, sir. Oh, yes, sir, but... Uh... Have any of the other servants seen or heard of him in this vicinity? No, sir. He knew the consequences if he were to come back. So, Inspector, I'm sorry I can't be of more help. It seems he's not around here. Well, thank you. Again, I'm sorry to have bothered you. However, if you hear anything, Please inform me immediately. Uh, you can be sure of that. And so will you take the inspector to the door? Good night, Count. Good night. I should have killed that dirty little rat.
about time. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Says, let the monster out. No. We must find him hence. Get Kriegen and Igor. But Kriegen's been 
beaten half to death, and he no. was nowhere to be found, sir. You look in oh. the woods. Yes, sir. I'll search on horseback. What's wrong? I have to go somewhere, Maria. I want you and Krista to stay here with Eric until I get back. You understand? Krista's not here, Father. She's not back from her walk yet. Oh, my God. Is there any way I can help? Just stay here with Maria. Please no, tell us nothing. What's happening, Father. Just stay wrong? here and don't leave. Yes. Here's his medical journal. He's recorded everything day by day. Oh my God, he's been experimenting. Experimenting on a caveman. And by the looks of things in here, he must have just escaped. I'm taking you to your room. No, I want to... Yes, I, I must look for your father. my life's work. I shall kill you with my own hands. Do you understand? Stay calm, Goliath. Stop, Goliath. You won't kill no. anyone, Frankenstein. Wait, no. 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 Gans, Gans, you know what's going to happen? Oh, my God, what's that giant under called Frankenstein? <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 giant out. Yes, and he killed Count Frankenstein and Hans. We must go to the caves and look for Christ. And you go to the village and tell the inspector. Hurry! Come on, darling, let's hurry. Hi, Uk. I brought a friend. That's my friend, Uk. He eats me raw. It's rough. But he's not mean to me. Get to like him, Goliath, once you get to know him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Goliath. Oh, how did you get in here?
What is it? Get me, Inspector. Better come out here, Inspector. What is it? Frankenstein monster escape. Frankenstein's monster? Daughter's fiancé go cave. Frankenstein's monster? Good Lord. Kerner, come here. Go back to the castle and warn the others. I'll go on to the caves. Kerner, come on. Come on. Come on to the cage. Let's follow the inspector. Come on, everybody. Follow the Get the other Hey, Gerda. Bring us some of that good wine. Yeah, some wine. Good wine, yeah. There you are. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We ought to do something about that Frankenstein. First it was that giant, and then the grave robbery. Then the most recent thing. The tragedy of Jenny Hansen. The inspector is not getting any results. I think we ought to do something. We ought to take the law into our own hands. You agree? Oh, we should petition the governor and have him get rid of our damn right. inspector. Huh. That seems to be the only way to get things done around here, if you uh, ask me. You shouldn't be accusing the inspector. He's a good man of law. You have no proof against him. Mind your own business. What kind of men are you, sitting around criticizing others? Why don't you do something about it yourselves? Ah, uh, keep quiet. The monster's loose. They're heading for the caves. I'd go with you if I wasn't so crippled. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. of a monster uh, in all of us. us. Especially where 
word as fear. 